Hello everyone. Today, we're going to discuss how to quickly search for and replace addresses or tags used within your project. To get started, I have a basic project on display that I've put together for this demonstration. On our work area, we have some numeric objects, three of which are addressed to a Modbus device, while the others utilize tags from a compact logix. And so addressing objects to a register-based driver like our Modbus slave is quite easy. But in some cases, you may find addressing objects to a tag-based driver is slightly more difficult or a little more time-consuming. So let's take a look at how we can speed up this process by using our tag search bar. Within my object settings menu, I'm going to select the tag drop-down list, and our tag selection menu will open. There are two ways to find a tag within this menu. We can either scroll down and find the structure on the left side, and then select a tag from our list, or we can use the search bar in the top right corner to find tags within our project. To do this, we must first specify the scope of our search by selecting the tag folder within our list. And then we can search for a specific tag by typing the last section of our tag name. For example, if our tag name was struct.st underscore int underscore array zero, we would type st underscore int underscore array zero. And our tag will be displayed within our list. Alternatively, you may also scroll through and select a prefix from the left-hand side and then search for your desired tag. All right, so we have a pretty good idea as to how to search for and assign tags. But what if we'd like to find an object with a specific tag or register within our project and readdress it to something else? Well, this is also very easy to do, and to start, we'll either need to select the Home tab in the top left corner and click Find and Replace, or press Ctrl and F on our keyboard. This will display the Find and Replace menu within EasyBuilder Pro. At the top of this menu, we can define the scope of our search. With All selected, the scope of our search will include every window and global object within our project. And if necessary, we could refine this by searching through specific windows or just global objects. Just below this, we have three separate tabs that allow us to find and replace device registers or tags, or locate objects like function keys that have been configured to trigger a specific macro and replace that macro with a different one. And we can also search for and replace index registers used within certain objects in our project. Let's make sure that the Address tab is selected. And we'll demonstrate how we can search for a specific tag within our project. For this example, I'll ensure that our address mode is set to Word. From our device drop-down list, let's select our compact logics. And now, if it's easier, we can select the drop-down list and display our tag menu. From there, we can search for a specific tag via the same method that I used earlier. But within the Find and Replace application, we actually have an alternative to this. If we close our tag menu, you'll notice that we can simply type directly into our tag selection and we can enter either the full name or part of the name, and then select the Find button. In the dialog box below, you'll notice that the location, name, and address corresponding to this tag is listed. And by double-clicking a specific object, its menu will open, And you'll notice this is quite similar to the address grid, which is used with non-tag-based PLCs. 
However, there are a few features that make this tool much more advanced, such as the ability to replace addresses in objects, macros, or other global objects without having to modify the object directly. For example, let's replace the 4x1 address in the object below with a tag from our compact logics. And now let's replace this within our macro. You'll notice this is quite simple, and I'd like to note that I could have actually just used the replace all button instead of changing them individually. And within the find section where our 4x address is specified, you may have noticed the range button as well. This is used to search for all registers within a specified range. And while the compact logics or a tag based PLC is selected within the replace section, and the mode is set to replace with, we're only able to replace all items with a single specific tag. But if we select another register based device, like our HMI, we'll notice a Shift 2 button within our mode. And if we select Shift 2 and define a starting register, we can use the Replace or Replace All button to index each register within a range to a new location, individually or collectively. In other words, replacing 4x1 through 4x3 with LW0 when Shift 2 is selected will assign these objects to a new range from LW0 to LW2. Also, you'll notice that, like in other objects, we can also replace an address with a system or user-defined tag from our HMI. Now there's one more feature that I'd like to demonstrate, the ability to change structures while keeping the UDT member the same. To do this, you must have two different UDT structures with members that have the same name, an example of this can be found on our dashboard, where you'll notice I have one tag labeled var udt .var .str .data0, and a second one labeled var udt of udt .udt of udt .var .str .data0. Now let's say that I want to replace the second tag with the first one. I'll begin by defining what I'd like to replace. During this example, I'd like to replace var udt of udt dot udt of udt with just var udt. So I'll type this out within my find and replace tag entry box. We'll select find, and our tag has been found. And we'll also check Verify Tag to ensure that our replacement tag is valid. When this is selected, if our replacement tag has a typo, or if it does not exist within PLC memory, then selecting the Replace button will have no effect on the object found. And now, let's select Replace All, and then click Exit. And you'll notice that our tag name has been changed. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.